And welcome to another day of farming. Let's go see what we're going to be doing on the old weather chart and everything. Weather report. What's your passion life on a farm? Here's to mother's weather forecast. There will be a snow bundle up so you don't catch a cold. Day 6 of winter. This month's events are 10th dog race. 24th Star Night Festival. 30th New Year's Party. Every time I see that New Year's Party, it's like, Oh my god, we're nearly finished. I can sense the end. Right down to the bottom. Life and Farm. Never watch it. This is our local news feature show, Far Away Lads. Today we'll be talk live with a person named Moy from Bobo Valley. Our reporter is Luckman, who miraculously survived the ceremony in Camora Town last time. Luckman, are you alright? Yes, this is Luckman. I'm a little tired, but I'm alright. Then please, do the interviews for us. Okay, to the best of my abilities. Moy? Moy? Hmm, what? Would you please introduce the family to us? Here, this are all the Moy here. Yes, I see that, they are all here. Could you introduce one person at a time? Alright, this is Grandma Moy, and that's Grandpa Moy. Over there is Mama Moy. That one there is Coco Moy, and over there he is Dodo Moy. Yes, I think we get the idea. And what do you do here, Moy? Yes, Moy Moy, Zaza, far away, Moko Moko, far away, and Dono, Dono, whom? A long time, Moy, old Moy, Dono, Dono, who? Moy before, uh, Moy before that, Dono, Dono, huh? Oh, nothing, I got it. Any last words? That Moy, this Moy, oh, I've just given up. <laughs> Some of these things is definitely not, just, just don't, doesn't work. Babies are so cute. They just do not work at all. So then, welcome back to another day of farming. What are we doing on this day of farming? Well, guess what? We're going to be farming. That's the short answer. The long answer is farming. <laughs> some more. Farming some more is the longer answer. Because it's added a few extra words. But we have got a, a goal for today. I don't know what I'm doing today. If I'm doing a two-day episode or a three-day episode, I haven't decided yet. I might do a two because of what I'm doing today, which I will discuss after I've spoken to Jellybee. Boogle. Nice. Okay, so let's get the summoning bell and call in the winter. As in Farmer's Journal, begin. It is the 6th of Saturday of fall winter, year three, six o'clock in the morning if you wanted to know, and the weather outside is delightful. What are we doing today? We haven't got a busy day ahead of us, but we're doing something which is going to probably take up a lot of time, actually. Is we're going to go and visit the library and go and do some talking there and sort it all out because I want to read the books that are in the library and that will take a lot of time. So what we need to do is um, try and work out which is what's going to be the best way to do it. I might go straight to the library and do all the downstairs books today and then do all the upstairs books tomorrow, which means this whole episode will be something to do with the library books and stuff. So that's my theory behind all this. Uh, we shall see how well that works out. Uh, it is a Saturday, so Greg is awake, ready to receive his fish. Which is his last fish, you may notice, because obviously all the fishes are gone now, so this is his last fish. And you know what I didn't do? I had to reload yesterday, and I didn't give a gift to one. Which is a shame, because I need to give gift to one, actually. Ooh. See, if I, if I could be bothered, I would load the game up again, but I'm not going to, because I don't, I don't think it's going to matter that much, really. Ton, 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 ding. I'll just give him two today. That will sort of work. He's done. Jelly Bee, I have a milk for you. Ba, ba, ba. Ellie, I have a flower for you, because I'm so nice. Thank you, darling. I like this very much. Cool. Nice. I didn't get the fish. Yes, I did get the fish. Right. So don't need that, because I'm going to go straight to the library after this, assuming it's open, which I assume it is. Now let's go to the beach. Uh-uh. It's a noisy chicken. Right, let's have a cup of tea. Ah, that's nice. Do you like a cup of tea? Right. So, plan of attack, go to the beach and then go straight to the library. That sounds like a plan. What's the time? 20 minutes. I've still got a while until he appears. Um, yeah, but very, very nearly, very can't speak today. To be fair, when can I ever speak? 
We're getting very close to the end. Like, we ain't got long left at all. And I, for one, am super, super excited. Like, every time I see 30th as New Year's Festival, I realise that's the last thing we're doing at all. Well, that's a big one. Is it for me? Thank you. Well, if it isn't the fisher kick, Eddie Luck, you have to show me a fish print sometime. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Right, off to the library we go then. Uh, we'll either... So I don't know how long it's going to take me to read everything. Um, it's going to be a very lengthy episode. Prepare, prepare, prepare for that. Prepare, prepare, prepare for that. As in, when I say lengthy, it's going to be quite... It's going to feel lengthy because of the book reading. Hello, Mayor Thomas. Mayor, Mayor Thomas. Alright, so where's the library? Here's the library. Is it open? Are we free to go inside? It is locked. Is it closed on a Saturday? I dearly hope not. Ah, it's open 10am to the other times. Well then, um... Yes, I will cut away... Um, Yes, I will cut away until it is 10 o'clock, and I will see you in a few moments. Okay, so it's not quite 10 o'clock, but it's close enough to it, so now, it's, now it is 10 o'clock. Okay, so this is the library. We'll have a look outside. You can see it's right next door to the old uh, Basil residence, and it's literally, it's, literally connect, it's literally connected. There is literally a tunnel that leads right into the library. Right, so let's go inside and have a little look, shall we? I think it's owned by the Basil family, but it is run by uh, their daughter, Mary. Hey, hello, Daddy. How's your phone doing? I love Grey Legs reading Blair, but I wish he'd turn his attention to other things too. Such as? Getting naughty, are you, down there? Right, anybody else inside the, the library we can talk to before we start reading books? Books can be misleading. Where's the audiobook? Is the audiobook section? There is none. It's all written down. Well then, let's begin. <coughs> oh, that's number two. I should really set this up, shouldn't I? Ah, uh, dear, maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is going to be a very lengthy thing. I'll just read straight from the next one, actually, because it's taking forever. It will take me a little while to do this, won't it? Oh my lord, this is... Her this is oh, look at it. Oh no... Oh, for heaven's sake, how many pages has this book got? Oh, my hair! There we go, right. <laughs> Are you ready, everybody? <laughs> Let's do it then. <clears throat> village Festivals 3. The Chicken Festival. This village holds a chicken festival on the seventh day of summer, and many people from nearby villages come too. Participate in the chicken sumo. The fights take place in a circle with two chickens. Trying to imitate each other out of the ring, I talked with the host of the chicken sumo himself, a poultry farmer. Well, people don't train special birds for the contest, but they do tend to select the chickens they feel most strongly about. Such chickens want to do their best and impress their owners, so they'll try their hardest. Some don't even need any urging, but if the owner is not paying enough attention, their chicken might flee out of the ring in the first flight. I guess it all comes down to the relationship between man and hen. Ha ha ha. This is what the reference said. The thing that motivates the chickens most probably is their love it has received from its owner. Village Festivals 4. The Tomato Festival This village holds a tomato festival on the 12th day of summer to celebrate the tomato harvest. What the village villagers do is have a big food fight with the tomatoes. Most of the villagers participate in this festival, forming teams of three people each. It is a festival enjoyed by people of all ages. The men can throw... The men can throw faster than women and children, but in the end it all comes down to how well you dodge the tomatoes. What a sexist novel! Village Festivals 5. The Dog Race This village holds a dog race on the 10th day of winter. In this race, the owners run as fast as they can and try to get their dog to follow them to reach the goal first. The sight of the dog owners trying so hard to get to their dogs to follow them sparks much laughter from the crowd. The interesting part of this race is that it clearly reveals the relationship between dog and owner. Dogs that are trained try very hard and keep up with their owners so they can stay close. If a dog has not been trained properly when it tries, it can't keep up with its wanderer away and forget about the race. I asked the host of the dog race whether he had any hints for winning. This is going to be someone else I know. <clears throat> it's simple, the owner just has to run the pace of the dog. That was his answer. I guess that's all there is to it. 
Village Festivals 1, the local horse race. This village holds a local horse race on the 18th day of spring where horses from the farms of a number of villages come together for a race. The farmers normally use their horses for farm work, but as the race days nears the end that time training their horses <laughs> for the race, once I asked a nearby farmer if there was anything special one could do to win. I don't do anything special, just brush my horse and talk to it every day. Actually, it is a better practice for the horse to get on him and run, but my leg... That was his answer. Right, one more. The long one, the swimming one. Village Festivals 2, opening day. This village holds an opening day ocean festival on the first day of summer. In this festival, young men participate in a swim race. There appears to be no participation rules, but the thrash seems to be the most popular swim style. Swimming in the ocean is hard work, so the men are all very serious. This ocean race is quite difficult, and you must take many special breaths or you will tire and have difficulty reaching the finish line. My friend, the swimmer, says it is better to take short, small breaths when long distance swimming, but for us amateurs, it is hard to keep pace often short distances it is better not to wait until you can't hold your breath any longer it is not good for your body to hold your breath for so long cool well that's that audio book done let's do this one here then these are books written by basil about the plants of the village the ones here are mountain harvest volumes one and two. Oh, there's also one called seasons mountain harvests harvest three in winter there are almost no plants growing on the mountain near the villages where i live that is why the villagers gather from spring through fall and store foods for the winter. Mountain Harvest 1 You can harvest grapes, mushrooms, grasses and many other plants in the mountains where I live. Medic medicinal herbs also grow there, so I sometimes meet the young village doctor gathering plants. You can eat the mushrooms with confidence since the poisonous ones are easy to spot. These are books written by Basil about the plants in the village. The ones are, I've already run that one. Uh, one and two. Oh, there's also a book called Seasons. So one more. No, that's it. Okay, we'll just get through this one. Then uh, in the winter, blah, blah, nothing grows. In winter, blah, 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 blah. Right, okay, next one. The Seven Brothers in the Forest. Right, oh no. This one I need to start from the beginning, so I'll have to try and set this one up so it's at the start again. But I think it's quite, I think they're quite long books. So we might have to dab one for another time. Okay, we'll do that one for another time. I'm gonna read this one. Is this one? I guess this isn't one since it's covered by the stairs. Okay, there isn't one. This one. The young man stood there, dazed, dazed, looking at the land for the first time. So this is where I'm going to farm. Farm? The young man. Uh, that's, that's obviously sounds like the story of me. Is that the story of me? It's the story of my life. Never mind. Right, so I wasn't going to go upstairs, but since we can't read The Seven Brothers yet, because I want to wait until I can start that from the beginning. Flowers 2. The Flower of Happiness. In the winter, where the mountain is covered in snow, some people claim to have seen a white flower blooming. We have seen this. The villagers call this the Flower of Happiness, saying that those who view it are blessed with happiness. Other countries have similar stories, and because that they are all snowy countries, it is thought to be the same flower. Flowers, one, mountain flowers. The mountain is always, mount, the mountain I always hike has many different kinds of flowers blooming depending on the season. The most common flower is this village is the moon drop in the spring. Some places are completely covered in these yellow flowers at the fall. A flower, flower called the magic red blooms. The flowers are normally blue, but sometimes the blossoms are red. The villagers here use the flower for medicine. Why these plants sometimes bloom red flowers is a mystery. Interesting. Right, okay, so that's all of them then. Is there anything downstairs? I don't think there is, is there? I think that's about it. I think so. Is it can I read this little, little, little thing there? No, okay, fine. Right then, I'm now gonna go end the day, but I'm gonna go finish some chores and I'm gonna set up the Seven Brothers things as well. So we finished with today. Did a few audiobooks from the library. Uh, but that's about it. We won't be doing any more. Uh, let's actually say goodnight to people. Uh, we're gonna do the rest tomorrow. I've set up the uh, the Seven Brothers books, so that's ready. Taking a break, yes, it's important not to overwork. And I've also given two gifts to one to make up for yesterday. Goo goo! Which I forgot to do because I had to reload because there was a blizzard. Luckily, it didn't really take long because uh, they don't really take long because I th these days are quite short. Anyway, make diary entry and then sleep. Dear diary, today I actually went to the library and read some books. 
from Farmer JD. And I've just eaten a dumpling. Right, let's check the TV before we go on doing anything else. Weather report, news, shogi hour, and life on the farm. Here's to Mother's weather forecast. Expect a comfortable balmy winter day. Day 7 of winter of this month's events are 10th of the Dog Race, 24th of Star Night Festival, 30th of New Year's Party. You always get excited. Right, that's that. The Shogi Hour. Today we continue with the game played between a 100 dang ranked player, the first player, and 101 dang ranked player, the second player. Second, 5 7 poor. First, 4 5 rook. Second, 6 7 poor. First, 8 8 promoted bishop. Second, the same silver general. First, 6 3 5 rook. Second, 7 7 poor. First, 2 5 poor. Second, 8 7 poor. We'll end here today and continue with this game next time. <laughs> Hello, Ellie. That's my basket. That's not Ellie. That's Ellie. Baby's so cute. Indeed, they are, Ellie. Hello, Ed Baby. Speaking of that. Goo goo! Uh, dog, I think you've seen him. Oh, there he is. No, that's cooking. I don't want to cook. I don't want to cook. I want my dog. I want to summon you. And I want to throw a ball for you. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. He's not doing very well, is he? There we go. But at least he does the job. Right, what could be in the cabinet? Probably not a lot. Right, it's also Sunday. Uh, in fact, let me... We... <clears throat> Let's do this first, and then I'll talk about that. Right, so... Farmer's Journal. Begin. It is the 7th of winter, year 3, Sunday, 6 o'clock in the morning, if you wanted to know. And the weather outside is delightful. Delightful. What are we doing today then? Well, we're going to do the same things we did yesterday. We're going to go and visit the library to finish off those. To finish. To finish off those books. I don't know what happened there. Um, that's about it then. Uh, we could go and give a gift. No, we can't. We could go and talk to Greg because we need to talk to him about 30 times. But I not, don't think it's going to be that important. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to stick with what I've done so far. So that's all sorted. Oh, but what I do need to do is I do need to go and wait until 10 o'clock. So what I can do while I'm waiting actually is going. Uh, is go prepare, give gifts to Ellie and Jelly. But time doesn't pass inside. So hmm. So it defeats the object, but I'll do it anyway because why not? I'll just wait. Make sure we get a few more a few more minutes done on the list. On the timer, sorry. Before we go and do the rest of the audiobooks. That's the ball. I want a flower. Let's go for that one. There we are. Right, so let's go make the hot milk first. Preparing to cook, please wait. And then we should go and give a flower to Ellie, and then we'll go to the library, although we'll probably cut away before that. Right, follow a recipe. Yes, I'm sorry. Hot milk. Make it. Ton 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 ding. Awesome. It's done. Alright. Oh. Ba 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 ba. Indeed. Right. And now, Ellie, there's your flower. Thank you, darling. I like this very much. Indeed. Right. So, uh, what I might I do now is cut away and I'll meet you at the uh, library. But I'll probably do my chores before that so we can just end it in one clip. Right, so let's go finish off with the uh, last few books in the library. Of course, it's ten minutes to wait. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't, I didn't go in there. What is the noise? Did not open the door. Right, hello Mary again. Let's go and read some books, shall we? Then. So this is the one we're going to start with. The very big book of the Seven Brothers. The Seven Brothers That Live in the Forest, number one. A long time ago, there were seven little brothers who lived all apart from each other. The brothers were not very friendly with the villagers because they were small and the villagers seemed big and scary. Each brother had a different favourite colour and liked a different favourite thing, so they figured they would always live apart. Ooh. Seven brothers in the forest. Two. One day, Chef, 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 whose favourite colour is red and who likes to cook, realised he had a problem. I love to cook, but doom but there's nobody to eat my delicious food, but doom Hoggy, whose favourite colour is yellow and who loves to sleep, also had a problem. 
I love to sleep, but doom so much I don't want to get up and cook, but then I just get hungrier and hungrier, but doom Ooh, maybe we've got problems. Seven brothers in the forest. Three. You can hear the sound hoo hoo at night. Something sparks in the darkness. Ah but doom shiver shiver shiver. Timid likes the colour green, because it's easy for him to hide in the forest. But even then he's scared. You can hear the sound hoo hoo at night, something sparks in the darkness. Hi ha Crumble, 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 crumble. Badum. Bold loves purple because he can hide in the shadows and use his battle cry. Hiya! Badum! To defeat large enemies. Interesting. The Seven Brothers in the Forest. Number four. There's seven, by the way. Stylish Aqua loves the colour light blue. Ah, I'm running out of provisions fast. I like being stylish, but when I work, I don't have the time. Ugh! That's as much as I can do. Ugh. Badum. Stade is very serious and a hard worker. He likes the colour blue and everything he wears is blue. So he is easy to spot. Stade, said Aqua. Let's live together. Badum. It's good to be better than living alone. Badum. Aqua, said Stade. Badum. What brings you here with what a story like that? Badum. Well, you see, Badum, said Aqua. Whisper, 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 whisper. Oh. Seven brothers in the forest. It's five. Ha ha ha! So that's it, Badum! said Stade. Sure, let's live together, but what's the point of everything being clean? If you're still hungry, Badum! Even when your stomach is full, your heart remains hungrier! If things are not clean, Badum! replied Aqua. Okay, so you do the chores like the cleaning and the laundry, Badum! So all I have to do is eat, Badum! asked Hang -ho Hoggy. Yes, all you have to do is eat, Badum! I always enjoy you eat food and being told the delicious, replied Chief Jeff. Jeff. I don't understand, but that's fine by me, Badum. Ha ha ha, Badum, what a mess you are, Badum, laughed Bold. Oh, it's you, Bold, squeaked Timid. What did you think I was? Badum, who do you think I was? I don't know, but I'm scared of everything in the forest, Badum. Well then, you should stay with me, I'm not afraid of anything, Badum. Okay, if that's what we do, Badum, if we're going to live together, we'll need a bigger house, Badum. Let's leave the forest for a bit, Badum. The Seven Brothers in the Forest, six. So Chef and Hoggy, Stayed and Aqua, and Timid and Bold, all decided to leave the forest for a while. The first one to find the house was Stayed. Hey, I found a house that's just right for us, Badoom! Yes, it's a lot smaller than a human house, but it's just the right size for us, Badoom! But there's a light on the inside, Badoom! Let's go in, Badoom! Hey, wait, Aqua! Crash! Boom! Badoom! Oh! Oh yeah, because that's not Seven Brothers, is it? There we go. Seven Brothers in the Forest. Seven. Hello, brother! Long time no see! Badoom! They're in the house with the youngest brother, Nappy. Oh, it's you, Nappy! Badoom! You surprised me! How did you get this house? Badoom! The people of the village built it for me! Badoom! What? Badoom! I always thought there'd be a time when we would all live together, so I had them make seven beds! Badoom! What made you think that? Badoom! Because look! All of you are here. What? Badoom! When Stade and Aqua turned round, they saw the rest of their brothers walking toward the house. Ah, oh, that's cool. I think that's it, though. Just double check. It's it is. Oh, and I've got to go through all this again, then. All right, bear with me, then. Just get through it all. Then we'll go do the ones upstairs. So, I don't know how long it's going to take us to finish these off. Hopefully not too long. I've kind of done, done everything, so I don't really need to... There we go. Yeah, so I don't need to do anything else, but we can figure it out. Right, what's this one? All about fish. Three. Garbage. The lakes are oceans are becoming polluted with garbage, and because of this, fish populations are decreasing. Fishermen say that when they feel reeling garbage, they take it to a trash can in the park or in the square instead of throwing it back into the water. Or if you're like me, I throw it on the ground. All about fish. Two. Fishing rods. The fishing rods used by professionals are different from normal rods and are very effective. However, you need special skills to use these fishing rods, so they are only sold to professionals. All about fish. 1. Cultivation. More and more people are using fish ponds to raise fish. If you raise them successfully, they all will spawn and multiply. That's cool, we've read that one. Okay, so skip through that. Okay, three more book. Three, three more bookcases left, or two more bookcases? Oh, this is one of the longest ones. Uh, three more. Three more stories, or just two? I'm not sure, though. Hiking the mountains, number one. 
I go mountain hiking once a week with my family to look for plants. There is a hot spring in the mountain that the villagers are free to use. Last time I went there, I was surprised to find eggs in the hot spring, but a farmer and a little girl told me this was a good way to boil eggs. That's uh, May and Barley, because we know they do that. Hiking in the mountains, number one. Oh, just one, one volume there. A particularly long series of books that wasn't. Yes, we know. It's May and Barley. Oh. Right, this one. The cave only accessible in winter, too. There is a cave you can only access in the winter months, in the village where I live. The lake in the mountains freezes over during the winter. This creates a path leading to the cave on the other side. The blacksmith said he makes accessories from the metal ores found in this cave. He also said there is another type of ore, and that you can make some interesting things with it. The cave only accessible in winter, one. In the village where I live, there are two caves. One is the cave near the o spring that I wrote about in another book, the one we just read. The other is a cave you can only get to in the winter. I only know that what I heard from the blacksmith, but it seems you can find metal ores in this cave too, so I assume it is somewhere in the mountains of this village. Probably no more on this. Yeah, there's no more of that, okay. Skip through it again. And we've gone to the last series. <laughs> it's quite a long book. I feel like a proper bookworm today with all these audiobooks. Right, audiobook, The Cave Near the Spring, 2. There seems to be another cave in the village where I live, different from the cave I wrote about in my last book. But I will write about that book time, there another time. I touched on the subject of golden ore in my last book, about the cave near the spring. But in this one cave, there is an even rarer ore, which they say can only be used to make tools. Mistral. The Cave Near the Spring, 1. There is a cave in the village where I live, near the spring. It is said that you can find metal ores there to make tools, with... Golden ore is the hardest to find. You need to dig deep. It's not the hardest to find. Cave near the spring too. Okay, so that's it then. So we've done all the books. Oh, cool. Although I have got like three minutes left to do and I don't know what to do. Yes. Oh. I can give a gift to um, Juan. That's what I can do. Right, anyway, yeah, but that's the library. Not particularly big. Well, there's a few books, but still. Right, so let's go through here. This is that secret path I told you about that leads into Basil's house. See? And we were here the other day. Got the fire on and everything. Nice. So that's cool. So now you've re we've definitely read all the books. Hello, Basil. It's been snowing so hard since morning. It has been. Right, so let's go outside. Then we'll just wait. Oh, hello. Hello. And now we've just got to wait for time to kill, then. Because uh, I've got to go and give a gift to someone at one o'clock, so I might as well wait until one o'clock to do that. And I want to try and keep this in one clip if I can, so I might as well just stay here until the end, I think. Just go and get the fish first. Right. Right, 23 left. Let's go and take this then to one. Um, what I might do is I might just walk around the farm first. Just to kill time. Okay, so what have we got? So we've got not a lot happening, obviously. Obviously, you've got the Aulia, the winter stones, and winter lumber. Oh, so it's actually getting broken. We can we can start to, get, to fix it then. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, no, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Right. We'll take one bag full of lumber fix what we can and we'll just do the rest another time god why is it lagging why do you lag lumber I just broke it now oh, now I broke it now oh, dear I just threw a little fish on the floor 
That is absolutely... Oh. Mm, that's annoying. It's kind of annoying. What do I do? Do I fish for another one? How hard is that going to be, though? Actually, no, let's say that for another day, because that would be something I can do. I'll make a note of it. But that's something that's quite good. I can use that. I can use that. Yeah. Right, let's go and quickly get another fish. Go give it to one. Ah. I'm just going to finish this cup of tea, I think. Ah, lovely. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Right, let's go. Let's move on out. So where are we going? Let's go this way. Okay, well, we're nearly, nearly, nearly finished. Yeah, recently been uh, creating Let's Play loot. That's stuff I do when I name things and I use that for stories and stuff later on in life. So I've just been going through that. Obviously, I've got a lot for Harvest Moon because it's a big, long game, but uh, when I get to it, I'll be able to talk about it in this Let's Play. Well, I'll probably be finished the Let's Play by the time I do that. Because it's a long game. A very long game. Very, very long game. Right, quickly go see one. A one, do you want to buy one? I said, you buy one, you get one free. It's not even funny. I'm going to try and get another one. Ugh. Ugh. All sorted. So that's two fish I'll have to get another time, which I'll remember and try and remember anyway. Right, good night, Jelly B. Goo goo. Goo goo, good night. Nice, Ellie. Taking a break, yes, it's important not to overwork. It's winter. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> call that overworking? Call it a break, call it what you want. Anyway, make a diary entry and then sleep. Dear diary, today we finished all of the audiobook that's in the library from Farmer JD.